Nice one. Hi guys, uh, welcome to another live show by Copters. My name is George Byrne, I'm a UAV strategist here at Copters and uh, basically today we've been getting quite a few questions about the Helios 2 uh, and being a specialist on that, thought we'd, uh, we'd try and answer as many questions as we've been getting about the unit. Now, one of the main questions that we really want to talk about today is the photogrammetry element, uh, the indoor 3D mapping. Now, you can obviously do this with a lot of drones, the, the, the Mavics, uh, the trees, even the fixed wings like the wing tray, uh, and you get some really good results. But because we're internal, uh, you can't use them without the fear of crashing the drone, losing a prop, and either damaging you know, yourselves or the, the, the unit or the, uh, the actual space that you, you're, you're occupying. So the Helios 2 is actually the, the full package for that. It's a really good solution for indoor mapping and investigation. Uh, and this all comes about because the, the actual cage uh, is connected to the camera now. So the, uh, the actual 4K camera uh, is attached with a number of lights, a number of LED lights, which are all around the, the drone, basically, uh, allowing for full illumination in a, in a darkened space. Um, but having that fixed cage means you're not having a, um, uh, an, an impedance on your view. You're not having that cage roll over, being dis disorientated for the, the operator, but also for the post-processing side as well. Um, and as you can see, I'll uh, just put that in front of you. As you can see, the, uh, it is attached at the front, and it does poke out a little bit, but don't worry. Uh, it's been tested up to four meters per second, uh, and it is actually on a spring-loaded release. So if you do crash too hard, uh, it will just pop back in and then come back out as soon as you move away from a surface. Obviously, it is still uh, cr uh, crash tolerant. It is still supposed to be um, a, uh, a collision-proof drone, which is great. Uh, now, the big thing with it is the, the 3D mapping. Um, and a lot of you will know, being in the drone industry, that uh, Pix4D and Flybilly actually shared the same sort of campus area, same office for a number of years, and they, they work quite closely together, which is great for, uh, for the drone community, which allows for a lot of cohesion, a lot of um, you know, projects working together. Um, and as we'll show you, actually, uh, we're going to run a small clip now just of one Elios uh, following another Elios 2 uh, down a cave system. Uh, and what you'll notice is that uh, uh, the stability of the drones allow for the, uh, the shots to be, to be captured, uh, and it's all 4K, so you get really good imagery. So if you just want to play that now, uh, we'll see the Elios 2 following another Elios, um, and basically... As you'll see, you know, there's, there's no collision, so you're still maintaining a really smooth image, um, but also collecting a lot of really good data. Um, this is actually a really good application because there's a lot of, uh, of key points. There's a lot of points to actually uh, to, um, contain and to, to generate. So as we move around this image, you can actually see where the drone has, has passed by, uh, and it's created that, that, that 3D image. So for the likes of inspection and, and finding a location like this. The, these will be areas that have never been you know, investigated, never actually been um, adventured into. So having an Elios 2 allows you to get into locations you'd never actually uh, be allowed to go in. Um, and to be honest, we, 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 we've had a few goes ourselves, um, so we'll show you that clip uh, a little bit later. But um, just moving back to that video, they, uh, um, you know, it, is, it is a large data set, but because it hasn't got GPS as well, the Elios 2 works off of the video and it will generate the photos from the video uh, and then it will put it into um, uh, the Pix4D software and what it will do, it will actually look at colours, dimensions, angles, uh, any sort of familiar points. It won't use the GPS coordinates because obviously you don't have that, uh, that luxury being in an internal space. Uh, but some of the, some of the results we're, we're finding are just uh, fantastic. I know there's a company out in, in Australia at the moment who are doing some really good work on tunnel systems um, and their, their, their data is fantastic. Um, we did actually have a quick go uh, this morning. Uh, I've racked up a quick uh, flight uh, in, our, in our basement um, loading area. Uh, so we'll show that video now. It's just a quick sort of pan of, uh, of uh, Pix4D. So we'll put that on now. Uh, as you can see, it, it's not the finished product by a long way, uh, but for a, uh, you know, a 50 second to a minute flight, uh, just going up and down, looking at the, uh, the points, it's actually generated a really good image. Um, and something that uh, if, you, if you are going into an area where, you know, isn't been discovered or you need to get sort of a, a concept of what is there, you know, you're going into an area which is, um, you know, uninhabited or, you know, it's, it's dangerous, it's, uh, you know, it's, um, it, it could cause harm to your operatives or to your rope access team. 
Uh, this could give a really good idea to, uh, to your team leaders or to your management. What are the risks? What are the implications? How do we deal with it? Um, but yeah, keep your questions coming. Uh, more than happy to, uh, um, to answer them. You know, just contact the team in the office or reach on Facebook. Uh, I know uh, LinkedIn's a big presence at the moment for the Elios 2. Um, my name's been George Byrne. Um, you, can, uh, you can contact me uh, through the office or on my email. So I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have on the Elios 2. Um, we're really excited to see the applications that it's going to bring in 2020 in its, in its full UK release. Um, but yeah, if you've, uh, if you've got an extraordinary uh, concept that you, you think would be great for it, get in touch.